Good evening and welcome to the Drew Nettles Show with Denham Springs High School Athletic Director and Head Football Coach Drew Nettles. I'm John Fine. It's the second year edition number one of the Drew Nettles Show. Coach, uh, you've made it to the second year of your television program. Congratulations. Thank you, John. And we have a terrific show set for you tonight. He goes from the rabbi to comrade to who knows what he's going to be this year, but he is Tasman Mitchell. Yeah, you know, Tasman, great basketball player and uh, traveling the world uh, playing basketball still. A couple of uh, Denham Springs High School Athletic Hall of Fame inductees gracing our program. George Meadows coming on uh, along with a, a terrific uh, young lady, Celeste uh, Gully Callender. Yes, two fine inductees representing Denham Springs High School. Fight on, Josh Neal. <laughs> Coach Neal, hopefully he's getting here finishing practice on his way. Judson Penton of North Oaks uh, coming on, our sponsor of the week, Drew Nettles. I'm John Fine. The Drew Nettles Show physical pass at North Oaks uh, this morning. Are uh, you surprised by that? Yeah. We're back with more after this pause on The Drew Nettles Show. Dr. Torres, get our back. No gain might apply to football, but Dr. Michael Soroller feels no pain, no gain should apply to your teeth. If you're in pain with a toothache, gain a lot by visiting Dr. Soroller. Dr. Michael Soroller and his friendly professional staff treat all phases of dentistry. They offer the popular Zoom whitening procedures. Dr. Soroller was an all-state denim football and baseball player. You'll feel all world by visiting Dr. Michael Soroller. Call or visit Dr. Soroller in Watson next to the post office. If you subscribe to the crazy notion that the financial goals of a lifetime deserve more than a 10-minute chat. If you believe your financial advisor should listen as much as he speaks. Join the nearly 7 million investors who think like you do. FaceTime and ThinkTime make a difference. Join us. At Edward Jones, it's how we make sense of investing. Visit Scott Landry Financial Advisor, Edward Jones Investments, 179 Del Orleans. At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat the athlete in everyone, from the grand slam hitter to grandparents. If your doctor prescribes physical therapy, ask for Peak Performance by name, getting you back in the game of life. At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat the athlete in everyone, from the three-point shooter to the three-piece suit. If your doctor prescribes physical therapy, ask for Peak Performance by name, getting you back in the game of life. Big Mike's Sports Bar and Grill is home of the giant 124-inch high-def TV, the biggest in Denham Springs, not to mention a great selection of food, appetizers, sandwiches, wraps, steaks, fried ribs, seafood, and awesome burgers. Best of all, Big Mike's is kid-friendly, and the kitchen is open real late. There's also a private room for parties and a patio for relaxing outdoors. Come see us at Big Mike's Sports Bar and Grill. It's good food and good times for everyone. Marshall's Office, multiple functions working for you. I'm Marshall Jerry Denton, and we are your Marshall's Office. Parents, know what your kids are doing on their computers. Call me. Let's talk. Your full-service attorney is Michael Betts, attorney at law. Please consider Mike for all your legal needs. With over 25 years of legal experience, Michael Betts can handle all kinds of legal problems, including personal injury, business and corporate questions, divorce and family issues, and criminal law. Plus, Mike is a 1984 LSU baseball letterman who played on Skip Bertman's first team. Call Michael Betts for all your legal needs at 791-7912. Or drop by Michael Betts' office at 171 Dale Orleans in Denham Springs. Welcome you back to the Drew Nettles Show, the Denham Springs High School Athletic Hall of Fame induction ceremony will take place uh, 15 days from now, Friday, August the 16th, 
And Coach, we're going to feature a number of inductees into the Hall of Fame members from the prior two classes as well. Yes, you know, the Hall of Fame has been a fantastic thing for Dillon Springs High School. We started three years ago. Uh, this third class is the smallest of the three. You know, we started with larger numbers, but fantastic group that represents the history of Dillon Springs Athletics. And one of those uh, fantastic recipients is Celeste Gully Calendar. Celeste, how are you? I'm doing fine, thank you. 1961 graduate of Denham Springs High School, a terrific a basketball player, a standout a softball player as well. Give us a scouting report on Celeste Gully. What kind of player were you? Well, I started when I was very young, started practicing and all at home and all. My dad had put up lights in the backyard for me and I could go out at night and practice a little bit and all. And, uh, that just made me enjoy the sport more and more, and uh, uh, it just, by the time I got to high school, I was just so excited about playing, and I did really well my first year. Yeah, girls basketball has been, always been a very popular sport in Livingston Parish. Uh, what's some of the best memories you have of playing at Denham Springs during your time? Oh gosh, I got so many, I don't know if I could really yeah. put out one or two. I enjoyed, we played Walker, and I guess they was our big rival at uh, one time there, and, and uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, an All-State basketball player in 59 and 60. Now, due to an administrative error, uh, you were not All-State in 1961. D did Robert forget to submit your name, or what happened there? <laughs> I don't know what happened. And, uh, when I was a uh, uh, sophomore, I made the second place all team. And then junior year, I made first place all team, first team. And I don't know what happened to senior year, just a mix up somewhere or something, but oh well. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's great. And obviously, you know, a lot of great memories. And Dillon Springs High School, you know, has changed a lot during that time. And basketball changed while you were playing. At first, it was three on three, where it was offensive and defensive, and then right. five on five. How was that changing, you know, the, the sport at the time? Wow, it was a big change because playing, I couldn't pass the uh, high court line, and so you felt like you had a couple of seconds to rest real quick, and I was, boy, when it started full court, you was up and down, up and down, and uh, quite a change, but I adapted. Do you feel that you were born too early, or do you view yourself as a trailblazer, or both? Uh, uh, maybe both, a little of both. <laughs> what was your reaction when you were told you were going to be a member of the Hall of Fame? I was so excited. I mean, I, I wasn't expecting that call, and I just, I just sat there for a second when Jim Spring called, and I said, wow. Uh, right. I mean, you in your prime, Coach Nettles in his prime, going up against Tasman Mitchell, a guest on the Drew Nettles show coming up shortly. Right. Who wins two on one? You two uh, <laughs> against Tasman. He's got a little more height on us, yeah, so he maybe covered. he would because of the height. Coach, what do you think? With your smarts? We might get out winning for a little bit, but it depends on how long we're playing. <laughs> Celeste Ponce de Leon. You know who Ponce de Leon is? Who's the Founder he? of the New World. What? Founder of the New World. Fa founder of youth. Fountain of Youth. Ponce de Leon has seen you, young lady. Celeste, yeah. thanks for coming on the program. Thank you Congratulations. Thank you very much. That is Celeste Gully Calendar, an inductee into the Denham Springs High School Athletic Hall of Fame. The Drew Nettles Show continues. Stay tuned. We'll be right after this. At Walker Tire, we've got more than just tires. How about automotive repair and service, belts and hoses, plus tires? We can fix electrical problems at power door locks, plus tires. Shocks, brakes, and alignments, plus off-road, lawn, agriculture, and high-performance tires. We'll keep you on and off-road ready. That's Walker Tire and Automotive. We've got everything for your wheels and more. Walker Tire and Automotive, Florida Boulevard, east of 447 in Walker. What's quick and handy for your dry cleaning needs? Quick and handy cleaners, and here's why. Been in business since 1973. That's quick and handy. Got four locations. That's quick and handy. Attention to all the little details like fixing split seams, hems, and replacing buttons. Services including leather cleaning, wedding dresses, and alterations. That's quick and handy. Quick and handy dry cleaners, Denim Springs, Watson, and Walker locations. We want to make you look good every day. 
From one to ten gazillion, Screen Tech Promotions' business is to promote yours. Screen Tech Promotions offers the very best in custom screen printing, embroidery, and promotional items. With fast, friendly service, Screen Tech Promotions' knowledgeable staff can customize virtually any item for your business, school, team, or anything else. And there's no minimum order. Screen Tech can do one to ten gazillion. Locally owned and operated by Taddy Brown, visit Screen Tech Promotions at 1120 Florida Avenue or call 791-4211 today. Eastside Recycling is looking for all types of metals. They are very conveniently located at 28668 Highway 16, Dunham Springs. Make some money as well as cleaning up the environment. Bring all metals to Eastside Recycling. Safe, secure, and family-oriented. Only minutes from Baton Rouge. Eastside Recycling is looking for all types of metals. They are very conveniently located at 28668 Highway 16, Dunham Springs. Make some money as well as cleaning up the environment. Bring all metals to Eastside Recycling. Safe, secure, and family-oriented. Only minutes from Baton Rouge. If you've been hurt in action, we're here to fight for you. At the law firm of Boyer, Hebert, Abels, and Angel, we have a team of professionals with the experience and legal knowledge you need to get the results you deserve. We share your values. That's why we work in the communities where we live, so we can be there for our neighbors. Come and visit us in Denham Springs and let us help you get the results you deserve. At the law firm of Boyer, Hebert, Abels, and Angel, we're all about you. As I was seeing uh, Dr. Uh, Torres for my the Drew Nettles show, uh, pre-show physical, which again I passed, mm -hmm. I saw a nice flag, so you salute the flag. You know what the flag was? Heather Pitaro, North Oaks Physician Group. Oh, what a beautiful flag. And I just want to let everyone know that I saluted to Heather this morning. With us, Dr. Judson Penton from North Oaks uh, specialty orthopedic specialty center and is that sure. required of people at North Oaks to be saluting <laughs> Heather when it, they pass? yeah if you know it's good for you I think. Oh, okay yeah. good enough thank you so much for coming on the program Great really appreciate me. it coach you look back at your terrific career I know we kid around a lot but a wonderful mm -hmm. career at Denham Springs High School good career on the collegiate level but you hurt your knee real bad what if Dr. Penton was around what 20 25 years ago or so Talk, talk a little bit about that, and we'll get to Dr. Penton and, and talk about the orthopedic procedures that he can do right now that were not available back well, then. Well, obviously, uh, knee surgeries have changed a lot. Mine went extremely well, though. I was happy to be able to finish playing in high school and on into college, but you see a lot of athletes today, it's definitely, you know, they have injuries, and the recovery time has definitely decreased because of medicine today, I'm sure. Sure, sure. I think, uh, you know, it's interesting when an orthopedic surgeon makes the, the top 40 most uh, important people in sports, you know, Dr. Andrews. Uh, that's how far sports medicine has come. Um, and the awareness, I think, is, is out there uh, as far as the injuries go now. Right, well, obviously, you know, North Oaks is right there in Livingston Parish, just past, I think, the Walker exit in that area. You know, how can North Oaks help the high school athletes in, in Livingston Parish? Sure. Um, you know, we have a, an orthopedic surgeon uh, on, on site every day at, at Walker at our Satsuma uh, clinic, and we have an MRI machine out there. And we usually take walk-ins so we can work people in very quickly. We take care of every sports injury that you can think of. Now, a passion, that's how it's described. You have a passion for treating the weekend warrior or the seasoned athlete. Elaborate if you will. Absolutely. I love taking care of sports medicine injuries. Um, you know, I kind of joke with my patients, what I do is not going to kill you. Uh, so it's not a, you know, a, a scary sort of medicine. We get people back to doing what they want to do, um, either through rehab, you know, with physical therapy or medications or even sometimes surgery. But that's our goal is to get people back doing what they want to do, you which know, is a little bit different type of medicine. So y'all able to provide physical therapy there also? Absolutely, the, the yeah. Okay. We have physical therapy there. Yeah. Uh, talk about the 
heat injuries or heat illness, if you will, and that's obviously something that really needs to be addressed given our climate. Sure, absolutely. Um, and we normally do a, uh, a coaches seminar for the Livingston Parish and Tangipahoa Parish coaches where we discuss heat illness, concussions, and things like that. But I mean, you're talking about the hottest part of the year right now, and have y'all started two a days or yeah, we've got two today? Yeah, two today, and, and you know it's a. Uh, you have to watch that, especially in our climate. You can read on CNN or Fox News anytime in the next couple of weeks, and there will be somebody that unfortunately succumbs to heat illness in the south. Um, it's, it's really a, a combination of humidity and, and temperature, so you have to monitor the heat index. You have to have a plan in place. Um, if somebody does look like they're getting in trouble, the best thing you can do is cool them down quickly, have a shade uh, area so they can cool down quickly. Um, and hydrate and really take care of their bodies leading up to practice. You mentioned hydrate. What are some things, you know, the athletes need to understand? You know, we had a parents meeting. We talked to our parents. We have a full-time trainer at our school, David Borg. But, you know, hydrating has to take place prior to. Absolutely. They're really not going to hydrate during activity. So yeah, you can't, you can't make it up in the game. It's, gotta, it's, it's really got to, you know, occur the day before, two days before. We've even had to send some letters to some high schools allowing our you know, the, the students to drink water in class and things like that, so well, it's changed. Guys, if you think about it, hydration can take place afterwards. I plan to get some hydration at Big Mike's after the program, for example. Doc, talk a little bit about uh, concussions, and that, I mean, it's such a big deal now. Before or after world. Big Mike's. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, concussions is another one of those things that's all over the place. I mean, um, you know, you definitely have awareness when, like I said, when you see it on Sports Center. And concussions are now in the mainstream where you have lawsuits, NFL Players Association suing the NFL over, over uh, concussions. The LHSAA mandates if a player has a concussion, they have to be seen by a medical professional, a doctor, an MD. They have to go through certain steps to be cleared to play, and they have to be cleared by a medical professional before they get back. you got a great group at the North Oaks Physician Group. Talk Absolutely. Um, we, we really do. We've developed an orthopedic specialty center we're all orthopedic uh, fellowship trained, which means we did an extra year of training outside of our orthopedic residency. So we have every specialty covered from sports medicine to adult trauma, adult reconstruction, hand surgery, spine surgery, uh, you name it. All right, well, thank you so much for coming on, and you've really redeemed yourself. Coach, listen to this. Notre Dame undergraduate, Ole Miss to get his doctorate. <laughs> Went to LSU, okay, his residency, okay, but now with this program, I mean, this is this is a guy to see, Justin Penton. Thank Appreciate you, Justin. it. Justin. Well, you don't claim Ole Miss? No. Oh, no. Why? Because that's a Jackson? Uh, yes, yeah, uh, just, you know, uh, Ole Miss is, yeah. All right, thank you for joining us. Further redemption, <laughs> the Drew Nettle Show continues. Stay tuned. You wait Tars called the fan. Northside Family Pharmacy, professional, caring service from a family-owned and operated pharmacy. Our staff automatically cross-reference your prescriptions to prevent duplication and harmful interactions. If needed, we can recommend changes to your medications to keep you in budget and maintain your good health. Please call us for information about any health care concern. Bill paying? gifts, and drive through service, all here for your convenience. 15 years serving friends and neighbors. We're here to stay. We're Northside Family Pharmacy. The Sport and Center is your local sporting goods store in Denham Springs. We have all the popular name brand items you're looking for. Nike, Adidas, New Balance, Russell Athletic, Under Armour, Crocs, and many others. We also offer specialty advertising products, in-house screen printing, monogramming, graphic design, as well as your entire parish school approved uniform needs. Come see why our one-on-one -on -one customer service has kept us in business for over 30 years, or check us out online. The Sporting Center, 205 South Range Avenue. Your eyesight is so important, and when it comes to your eye care, let the friendly staff at the Bond Roten Eye Clinic care for you. Doctors Hunter Bond and Chris Roten, along with their staff of trained doctors, are committed to providing every patient with quality care. The Bond Roten Eye Clinic has the latest medical technology and eye care to help you, the patient. With over 14 years of experience, the Bond Roten Eye Clinic has three locations to serve you with offices in Denham Springs, Hammond, and Amite. So if it's a checkup, glasses, or LASIK surgery, you need to visit the Bond Roten Eye Clinic. For more information on the clinic, please visit bondrotenieclinic.com. So, what's your perfect degree of comfort? Well, it's our job to help you find it. Whether you're looking to make your home more cool and comfy this summer, 
or you want the energy savings of a new Rheem high efficiency system, we offer professional AC service on all brands, but recommend only the best for you and your family. Call Anison Bitter at 225-665-0199 for you. A new Rheem AC system can help you start enjoying a whole new degree of comfort. No pain, no gain might apply to football, but Dr. Michael Ciroller feels no pain, no gain should apply to your teeth. If you're in pain with a toothache, gain a lot by visiting Dr. Ciroller. Dr. Michael Ciroller and his friendly professional staff treat all phases of dentistry. They offer the popular Zoom whitening procedures. Dr. Ciroller was an all-state denim football and baseball player. You'll feel all world by visiting Dr. Michael Ciroller. Call or visit Dr. Ciroller in Watson next to the post office. For all of your legal needs, call the Harrison Law Firm. Robert Harrison is a lifelong resident of Livingston Parish and a proud sponsor of the Drew Nettle Show. If you need an attorney, consider the Harrison Law Firm. We're problem solvers who offer trusted personal legal service. And as our motto says, we know Livingston Parish like nobody else does. Harrison Law Firm, Highway 16 between Denham Springs and Watson. Call 664-1500. We're here when you need us. We welcome you back to the Drew Neto Show, and right now uh, we are joined by a young man making an appearance for a second straight year on the program. He is Denham Springs all-time basketball great, Tazman Mitchell. Tazman, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you all for having me again. Talk about the Tazman Mitchell basketball camp coming up. Uh, yeah, um, it's a community camp that I do uh, that I just started last year. Uh, it's a free camp, uh, just trying to give back to my community. And, um, you know, it's, it's tomorrow. It starts tomorrow from 8 to 12 for the girls and Saturday from 9 to 1. And I told Coach Nettles to come by Saturday and talk to some of the young guys that he might be coaching one day in, bas in, in football. Well, what about Coach Nettles' basketball prowess? Will you be using that uh, as well <laughs> with the kids? Uh, no, I'm just, uh, you know, I just wanted to t want him to talk to, to some of the guys and um, just let them know, you know, before they started heading in the wrong direction. Would you like me to come for some conditioning tips? Oh uh, yeah, possibly? man, you you can come, you can come um, and, and and lead in conditioning, man. Yeah, and so in camps they don't have a lot of conditioning, so he'll fit in just right. He'll yeah, fit in just right, just <laughs> walking sure. around. Chaz, so obviously you having a youth camp there, and you had a great career at Dunn Springs, went on to LSU, and you you've toured some overseas and had you've been in the NBA, D League, and so forth, some different stuff. But what can you tell those young kids about the importance of junior high to high school? You see so many youth that don't quite get through school. You know, what is something that you can advise those guys on how to get through that? Uh, well, they gotta learn how to multitask. You know, you gotta learn how to just put put stuff first. You know, like like my, my grandmother always told me, and my mom always told me to put um, God, family, education, and sports. You know, we try to, nowadays you try to put sports first before you put your spiritual life and your education. That's why they flunk out of school and don't want to do nothing else. Uh, so uh, you know, I just, I just, I just had my stuff in order. Just uh, learn how to multitask and just put uh, my, uh, put my family education, God, my family education uh, first. Tasma, talk about work ethic, because some people just think that Tasma Mitchell was born great or didn't have to do much. But you were always the first one in the gym, the last one to leave. Your work ethic was as good as it got on the basketball team. And talk about how important that is. Oh uh, yes, um, work ethic. Plays a plays a major role in how you want to be in your future. You know, um, like right now, you know, um, I still work hard. You know, uh, Coach Nettles gave me the gave me the facility to lift weights and stuff like that. No, nobody's forcing me to do it. You know, once you're a professional, you have to do it on your own, and um, and, and really have it inside your heart to you know to work hard. So I just got to continue work because I want to continue to make money, and take care of my family. So I mean, I can't just lay around and not work and expect to get paid. Coach, what made Tasman so special at Denham Springs was the fact that his work ethic was so superior, and when your star, your superstar, your best player has that great work ethic, it's really easy for the coach to get everyone else, else to buy in to working hard. Well, it makes teams have success. You know, I was fortunate. I was at Woodlawn High School when Tasman was playing at Denham Springs, and Coach Kenny Allman had some fan. We had some fantastic teams to play. We had yes, indeed, yes, uh, those that time when we played at Denham Springs or Denham Springs came to Woodlawn. The gyms were packed, but you know Tasman represented Denham Springs High School, and the teams followed him. And anytime your best players are the hardest workers, the best people, they're going to follow them. You know because if they're not doing that, they're going to follow that person one way or the other, and he's either going to take them up or take the team down. And he did a great job of drawing those other athletes with him and those teams together. And they had a great four-year run. 
uh, two top 28 appearances, and you know, the only time the Dome Springs had that in the last you know recent memory. So it was a fantastic career there, Tasman had, and you know, commend him on doing that. Well, thanks so much. Tasman, uh, let's go past LSU. You start out in the D League, then you go to uh, Israel last year, Russia. Compare, contrast your three seasons uh, after graduating from LSU. Um, you know, well, coming out of college, coming out of college, I thought I was, you know, of course, I mean, I thought I was a good player, a great player, you know, for the for LSU history. I thought I was going to maybe be in the NBA, but, you know, is one out of one out of 30 kids make it to the NBA. You know, I mean, not saying that I'm going to give up on the dream, but, you know, um, after after the D League, uh, you know, the D League is, is, is okay to a certain extent, but, um, but it wasn't enough money. And then I went to Israel for some money and, and um, you know, and played over there and toured the world. And then, I, and then after Israel, I went to Moscow, Russia. I played for a team called Triumph in Moscow, Russia. And we played everywhere. We was in three different leagues, uh, VTB, Euro Cup, and PBL. And uh, we went everywhere, Turkey, Ukraine, um, uh, Vladivostok, um, all kind of names that I can't even name. But it was a very experience. And, very good experience, and you have to learn to adapt, and I, I can adapt. Yeah, yeah, obviously kids grow up talking about playing in the NBA, and that's their dream, that's where they want to go, but there is a lot of basketball around this world and a chance to make a living, you know, beyond college. You had to, you know, going from high school, college classes, and now around the world. What, how is basketball similar or different for those kids to understand, you know? Um, well, well, over in Europe, you know, over in Europe, you know, like like I say, the NBA is kind of embracing the European style of play now. You know, because in in, in in Europe, they learn, they become professional players at like 14 years old, and they're more advanced. I think they're more advanced. We're we're over here. We're we're athletically more inclined. Athletic. Mm -hmm. We're more athletic, and for us, talent wise, we have a lot of we have a lot of talent for strength and conditioning. But over there, their skill and their fundamentals are real sound. And, uh, you know, you can learn a lot. That's why I'm, I'm kind of glad I'm playing over there because I get the best of both worlds. You know, I, uh, you know, I have the physical, the, 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 the physical talent over here. And, my, and, and, and over there, I learn how to do certain things fundamentally sound that I wouldn't learn over here. And so I think it enhances my games in both areas. Taz, am I correct in saying Julius Irving was someone you really admired? growing up? Oh, yeah, he was a great player. I mean, he was, he was a great player. Very, very Did you get player. to see the special? Uh, no, I, I, okay. I, I, I wasn't able to see the special. I was, I was overseas, and you know we couldn't get them channels. So, <laughs> so I mean, I got if it was in Russian, I probably saw it, but it wasn't in Russian. What about Tasman this year? Where are you going? Are you looking at an NBA uh, team? Are you looking to go overseas again? Uh, well, I would love to. You know, I would love to be in the NBA just to you know stay home and my family can watch me play and stuff like that. But. Um, but you know, um, right now I'm not, not getting too many looks in, the, in that area due due to the trades and and all the other things that's going on in the NBA right now. So um, you know, I got a, a few offers over uh, in in uh, Italy, um, Turkey, or back to uh, Israel. So uh, I mean, that's great. You know, they 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 actually actually want to want 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 to do more things for me over there. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to take my take my time and go back over there. Tasman, you are going to be inducted into a number of Hall of Fames in the years to come, but let history mark the fact that the very first Hall of Fame that Taz Mitchell will be inducted into is right here, right now, tonight, the Drew Nettles Show Hall of Fame. Congratulations, thanks. Tasman. Thanks, thanks, appreciate it. You joined Ben McDonald from last year. Talk to Ben. I mean, there's going to be some pressure, some added <laughs> responsibilities on you as well. And... You get a burger and fries and Coke at Big Mike's. Big Mike's. <laughs> just, just, just tell them the Denham Springs football office and Drew Nettles sent you over. Oh, all right, thanks. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it, Coach. Thank, Thank you, Tasman. No thanks. problem. Thank you. Thank you, Tasman. Always a privilege. <laughs> thanks. Denham Springs all-time great Tasman Mitchell. Drew Nettles, I'm John Fine. The Drew Nettles Show continues. Stay tuned. If you have the audacity to believe that a financial advisor should look you in the eye when the topic is your money. If you have the nerve to think that FaceTime should be the expectation, not the exception. Join the nearly 7 million investors who think like you do. FaceTime and ThinkTime make a difference. Join us. Join us. For 88 years, it's how Edward Jones has made sense of investing. Visit Scott Landry Financial Advisor Edward Jones Investments, 179 Del Orleans.
At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat the athlete in everyone, from those that serve aces to those that serve others. If your doctor prescribes physical therapy, ask for Peak Performance by name, getting you back in the game of life. At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat the athlete in everyone, from the soccer star to the soccer mom. If your doctor prescribes physical therapy, ask for Peak Performance by name, getting you back in the game of life. Marshall's Office, multiple functions working for you. I'm Marshall Jerry Denton, and we are your Marshall's Office. Parents, know what your kids are doing on their computers. Call me. Let's talk. At Walker Tire, we've got more than just tires. How about automotive repair and service, belts and hoses, plus tires? We can fix electrical problems and power door locks, plus tires. Shocks, brakes, and alignments, plus off-road, lawn, agriculture, and high-performance tires. We'll keep you on and off-road ready. That's Walker Tire and Automotive. We've got everything for your wheels and more. Walker Tire and Automotive, Florida Boulevard, east of 447 in Walker. Your full-service attorney is Michael Betts, attorney at law. Please consider Mike for all your legal needs. With over 25 years of legal experience, Michael Betts can handle all kinds of legal problems, including personal injury, business and corporate questions, divorce and family issues, and criminal law. Plus, Mike is a 1984 LSU baseball letterman who played on Skip Bertman's first team. Call Michael Betts for all your legal needs at 791-7912. Or drop by Michael Bent's office at 171 Dale Orleans in Denham Springs. We welcome you back to the Drew Nettles Show with Denham Springs High School Athletic Director, Head Football Coach Drew Nettles. I'm John Fine. Uh, earlier in the program, we had Celeste Gully Calendar on the uh, show, a, an inductee into the Denham Springs High School Athletic Hall of Fame. And right now we feature another inductee uh, into the Hall of Fame, uh, and he is George Meadows. George, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for uh, coming on the program. And uh, Coach uh, George, uh, along with his daughter, setting a record that is going to be, they're going to be very hard pressed to be challenged. Well, it is to have a family member, you know, have one person in the Hall of Fame from a family now, too, and obviously a a father and a daughter. It's also got to be a big honor, a big, big, big proud moment for, for both of you. I know proud we saw your daughter go in and now to be in there together. It's a tremendous honor for me yeah. to, to go in, especially now after Sarah went in in the, uh, yeah. in the initial year. Whenever she was inducted into it, it was just a, uh, yeah, I know you're not supposed to be proud because yeah. pride goeth before the yeah. fall, you know, yeah. but God gives different people different talent. Unfortunately, he gave me a little bit and he gave Sarah a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sarah was very talented at a young age and she was, she was easy to coach, she was easy to teach. Uh, she loved pleasing people and she loved doing what she did best. So I guess for me to, to go in now to third year is just a tremendous honor for me to be able mm-hmm. to join that club that Sarah mm-hmm. st- was in. Talk about a very special 1967 football season for you individually and for Ludy Carlisle's team. Cinderella team. It was a tremendous team. We started out originally with the uh, first five games. We had not won a game. We had lost uh, two games and we had tied three. So that was pretty tough for a bunch of kids in high school. But Coach Carlisle was just such a tremendous motivator. He was just a tremendous person. Uh, I guess you would say he was my, uh, if I have a mentor, it would certainly been Coach Carlisle, my father, of course, and Coach Carlisle in Big D. Uh, God gives people talent, and God gave me a little bit of talent, and I had three tremendous men in my lifetime that took that talent and helped us. After going those first five games, we had lost one of those games to reserve, and at the end of the year, when we made the playoffs, we ended up 
base and reserve the first game. And I'll never forget going down there and riding in on the bus. Most of the players are sitting around kind of pointing at the buses laughing at us. And uh, it was just a, tr a tremendous sense of we can do better than this and we knew we could do better than that. And it was a tremendous sense of accomplishment when we ended up winning that night six to two and going on and continuing into the state playoffs. Yeah, and that was Coach Carlisle's second year. And obviously, uh, you know, I think that's one of the greatest times that established Stone Springs High School and Stone Springs football because during that stretch, as he led into the 72 state runner-up team and until he got out in 75, the coaches that he ended up with on the staff with him and you mentioned uh, Lloyd DeGeneres, Butch Wax, uh, Bobby Satcher, it was kind of that core group of coaches has yeah. really set the tone for what Dental Springs High School is, is going yeah, on. Yeah, it was a godsend for Coach Carlisle to come yeah. to Dental Springs High School, there's no doubt about that, and that was a turning point. And let's talk about the role model aspect of the late great Coach Carlisle a little bit further, because you're a Hall of Famer at Denham Springs, but you've had kind of a Hall of Fame life, if you will, afterwards as a politician, being involved as a commissioner of pards, uh, getting involved with teaching softball. Uh, so uh, did that aspect of his life uh, play a factor in what you've become? Absolutely, his character. Coach Carlisle was the type of person that I can see him bending down now, picking up a piece of grass, saying, it's not right, do it over. He was the type of guy that instilled in you the desire to want to do better if you were going to do it. And I got that from my father as well. If it's a job worth doing, it's worth doing right. Don't be a quitter. Either play or quit. That's what my dad told me. And then Coach Carlisle told us not to be quitters. You play all the way and you do what's necessary. And obviously, you know, from Denham Springs and all that to accomplish, what does it mean to, you know, be a Denham Springs athlete and be part of the Denham Springs community? What does Denham Springs mean to well, that's my life. Matters? Yeah, certainly yeah. it's my life. I've been there all my life. I was born and raised there. Uh, football was just something that you did. It was fun back in those days. We did it because, I mean, it was something to do. So you did it and it was fun. You made it fun. But uh, as far as Dental Springs, I tell people, I used to sell real estate and I tell people, we have low crime, we have great schools, and we have great parks and recreation. What more could you want? Mm -hmm. what, what about all the offensive linemen? I mean, it's almost like Denham is offensive line high school from the, yeah. the great Jim Spring to a couple of offensive linemen being inducted with you yeah. into the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Well, I like to tell people that Coach Carlisle, I think, was the brains in Big D with his uh, enthusiastic, aggressive <laughs> enthusiasm, uh, helped, push the, helped push <laughs> linemen to be the best they could be. Shannon and, Robique, yes. uh, along with Joey Schutz, also fellow inductees, also great Jack that's offensive lineman. Finally, is the pressure going to be on uh, your son-in-law, Lane Mestafe? You're proven. <laughs> You're a Hall of Famer. Your daughter's proven. She's a Hall of Famer. Former LSU pitcher Lane Mestafe now. You have a three-year-old granddaughter. If she doesn't make the Hall of Fame somewhere, it's got to be on Lane, huh? It's certainly going to have to be up to Lane. <laughs> It'll certainly be his, uh, his place to put her in a position where if she chooses to do that, then uh, I think she will be there. Is your granddaughter being recruited yet? Uh, yes, she's being recruited by her grandmother and her grandfather every day to come oh, across I that see. street and play with us. Well, let's get David Bork after her. Uh, uh, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, George, congratulations. On You're very welcome. Hall of Fame. Thank you for having hey, George. me. Denham Springs all-time great George Metters, another inductee into the Hall of Fame. We're back after this pause on the Drew Metal Show. What's quick and handy for your dry cleaning needs? Quick and handy cleaners, and here's why. Been in business since 1973. That's, That's quick, quick and handy. handy. Got four locations. That's quick and handy. Attention to all the little details like fixing split seams, hems, and replacing buttons. Services including leather cleaning, wedding dresses, and alterations. That's quick and handy. Quick and handy dry cleaners, Denham Springs, Watson, and Walker locations. We want to make you look good every day. From one to ten gazillion, Screen Tech Promotions' business is to promote yours. Screen Tech Promotions offers the very best in custom screen printing, embroidery, and promotional items. With fast, friendly service, Screen Tech Promotions' knowledgeable staff can customize virtually any item for your business, school, team, or anything else. And there's no minimum order. Screen Tech can do one to ten gazillion. Locally owned and operated by Taddy Brown, visit Screen Tech Promotions at 1120 Florida Avenue or call 791-4211 today. Eastside Recycling is looking for all types of metals. They are very conveniently located at 28668 Highway 16, Dunham Springs. Make some money as well as cleaning up the environment. Bring all metals to Eastside Recycling. Safe, secure, and family-oriented. Only minutes from Baton Rouge. 
Eastside Recycling is looking for all types of metals. They are very conveniently located at 28668 Highway 16, Dunham Springs. Make some money as well as cleaning up the environment. Bring all metals to Eastside Recycling. Safe, secure, and family-oriented. Only minutes from Baton Rouge. Northside Family Pharmacy, professional caring service from a family owned and operated pharmacy. Our staff automatically cross reference your prescriptions to prevent duplication and harmful interactions. If needed, we can recommend changes to your medications to keep you in budget and maintain your good health. Please call us for information about any health care concern. Bill paying, gifts, and drive through service, all here for your convenience. 15 years serving friends and neighbors. We're here to stay. We're Northside Family Pharmacy. Your eyesight is so important, and when it comes to your eye care, let the friendly staff at the Bond Roten Eye Clinic care for you. Doctors Hunter Bond and Chris Roten, along with their staff of trained doctors, are committed to providing every patient with quality care. The Bond Roten Eye Clinic has the latest medical technology and eye care to help you, the patient. With over 14 years of experience, the Bond Roten Eye Clinic has three locations to serve you with offices in Denham Springs, Hammond, and Amit. So if it's a checkup, glasses, or LASIK surgery, you need to visit the Bond Roten Eye Clinic. For more information on the clinic, please visit bondroteniclinic.com. If you've been hurt in action, we're here to fight for you. At the law firm of Boyer, Hebert, Abels, and Angel, we have a team of professionals with the experience and legal knowledge you need to get the results you deserve. We share your values. That's why we work in the communities where we live, so we can be there for our neighbors. Come and visit us in Denham Springs and let us help you get the results you deserve. At the law firm of Boyer, Aber, Abels, and Angel, we're all about you. We've had two Hall of Famers on. We've had a great doctor, uh, Judson Penton from Norfolk. Uh, we've had all-time great basketball player, Tazard Mitchell on the program, but clearly the biggest guest on the show is our next one. He is uh, Josh Neal, assistant coach at Denham Springs High School. Coach Neal, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Hey, do they do they sell shirts in adult sizes for you? <laughs> oh, touche. Okay, very good comeback. I like that. Now, actually, uh, Screen Tech does a great job with these shirts, but they shrank from last year. Up to this year. <laughs> no, they really did not, but they, I like that comeback. Coach, talk about uh, the importance of uh, Josh Neal to your staff. He was telling you that during the break, uh, trying to emphasize his importance uh, to you. No, he was. No, Coach Neal has uh, been a Dill Springs graduate. I uh, haven't played there at Dill Springs High School. I was fortunate enough, uh, my first tour there, coaching him in the ninth grade program at one time, and then returning back and Josh coming out of college and, and starting back at the high school, coaching the running backs and does a great job on the football aspects, calls the plays on the JV team, and has been with us now going into sixth season, seventh seven season. That all flies by, yeah. you know. So, but, but over the last four to five years, you know, he's really taken a role in our you know, video editing and today's football is a huge part of, you know, filming practice, breaking down films, exchanging with other teams for the games. And he is in charge of the video tapes that you see on the games during the Drew Nettle show. Coach Neal does editing, and without him, it's a you know, would not be possible. And uh, which job do you enjoy more? Uh, I like both aspects, but I always mess with him about job security because nobody else knows how to do that video. Uh, so that's <laughs> that's my job security part there. He's locked in because he is the one that can do it, and I'm always picking up the phone to call him and say, Josh, hey, how to do this? Josh, talk about the transition, you know, you were a fine offensive lineman at Denham Springs High School, and now you're coaching the running backs? Discuss, was there a learning curve, and how you become a really fine young assistant coach for the Jackets? It wasn't that much of a learning curve. Uh, the, the, with the running backs, though, I can kind of tell them, you know, I, I know what the offensive line's doing, and I know what they're thinking, so I can kind of give that information to the running backs, and they help them kind of be able to see holes more clearly, things like that. Despite your best efforts, the Jackets struggled on the field when you were playing. They struggled after you got out. Talk about what it's been like to come back to your alma mater, work under Coach Nettles, and see the resurrection of this football team. Well, believe it or not, my freshman year when, we, when he was coaching us, we actually we had one district our freshman year. Uh, and then, but just to be able to come back and, and coach with him and, and see the, the difference between the program whenever I played and what we got going right now, it's great. But 
the, the thing is we can't get complacent with it. We've got to make sure the kids keep fighting towards that goal to where, I mean, we've been in the playoffs five straight years now, but we've lost the first round. And that's, what, that's a big hurdle that we got to get over is be able to win that first playoff game and keep advancing in the playoffs. Talk about Anthony Bracey, his health, and your other running backs this year. Well, Anthony uh, went down last year, first game of the year. Uh, it was about a 20-yard run. Got tackled funny and, and tore his ACL. Uh, he's doing better this year. He's out at practice every day, working hard. Uh, him along with B.J. Armstrong uh, is our other tailback. And Daryl Washington is the fullback, uh, our, our load, so to speak. He does a great job blocking uh, for those guys. Yeah, obviously, you know, follow up with Anthony Bracey is a fine young man. He's as good a kid as you can have, find. And going down with one injury and coming back, he's uh, rehabbed extremely well. As, you know, the doctor had it earlier, that medicine today, you know, kids get back out there a lot faster. He's been up and running in the spring and full speed this summer. We look for great things from him. And B.J. and Daryl, as he spoke, two older guys that are going to get a big part of the team. Coach, was your wife the one who paid all those kids to go to Ole Miss this year? Yeah, man, that's where I was at. That Ole Miss is going to be on probation pretty soon, I think. <laughs> Your wife at Ole Miss graduates. Yeah. Point that out. Yeah, big LSU fan. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you for coming on, Coach. All right, Appreciate thank you it. for having me. Assistant Coach uh, Josh Neal of Denham Springs High School Yellow Jackets. The Drew Dental Show continues right after this. Thank you. Big Mike's Sports Bar and Grill is home of the giant 124-inch high-def TV, the biggest in Denham Springs. Not to mention a great selection of food, appetizers, sandwiches, wraps, steaks, fried ribs, seafood, and awesome burgers. Best of all, Big Mike's is kid-friendly, and the kitchen is open real late. There's also a private room for parties and a patio for relaxing outdoors. Come see us at Big Mike's Sports Bar and Grill. It's good food and good times for everyone. The Sport and Center is your local sporting goods store in Denham Springs. We have all the popular name brand items you're looking for. Nike, Adidas, New Balance, Russell Athletic, Under Armour, Crocs, and many others. We also offer specialty advertising products, in-house screen printing, monogramming, graphic design, as well as your entire parish school approved uniform needs. Come see why our one-on-one -on -one customer service has kept us in business for over 30 years. Or check us out online. The Sport and Center, 205 South Range Avenue. No pain, no gain might apply to football, but Dr. Michael Soroller feels no pain, no gain should apply to your teeth. If you're in pain with a toothache, gain a lot by visiting Dr. Soroller. Dr. Michael Soroller and his friendly professional staff treat all phases of dentistry. They offer the popular Zoom whitening procedures. Dr. Soroller was an all-state denim football and baseball player. You'll feel all world by visiting Dr. Michael Soroller. Call or visit Dr. Soroller in Watson next to the post office. So, what's your perfect degree of comfort? Well, it's our job to help you find it. Whether you're looking to make your home more cool and comfy this summer, or you want the energy savings of a new Rheem high-efficiency system, we offer professional AC service on all brands, but recommend only the best for you and your family. Call Anison Bitter at 225-665-0199 for you. A new Rheem AC system can help you start enjoying a whole new degree of comfort. your legal needs, call the Harrison Law Firm. Robert Harrison is a lifelong resident of Livingston Parish and a proud sponsor of the Drew Nettle Show. If you need an attorney, consider the Harrison Law Firm. We're problem solvers who offer trusted personal legal service. And as our motto says, we know Livingston Parish like nobody else does. Harrison Law Firm, Highway 16 between Denham Springs and Watson. Call 664-1500. We're here when you need us. It'll be Coach and I for the last segment of the program, and in a sad irony, one of the things that I was going to bring up was to thank Sam Muffalato of the Livingston Parish News for just a terrific article 
in this past Sunday's paper about the second year of the Drew Nettle show. And uh, very unfortunately, uh, this uh, is uh, superseded by uh, something you told me during the break, the passing of uh, a, a guest on last year's show and one of the nicest and friendliest people you'd ever want to meet and someone you know very well in Al Turkwe. Yeah, Al, you know, as a sports writer for, you know, long, you know, his long life there and was one of the friendliest guys. You know, sports writers always are writing things down. You never know what they're going to write down and how the article may come out. But when Al was there, his articles were always positive toward the teams, reported to things, and always uh, asking about your family, caring about the people around him. He was just a tremendous person. Well, I know Al would laugh as he's looking down on the program, and maybe the sky got a little greener uh, over the last couple of days. Yeah, Al, a, a big fan of the two. Tulane will have an angel up there looking over their football season this year. Very good way of putting it. Uh, Coach, when we were last on the Drew Nettle show um, at the end of December, uh, it appeared as if Tevin Lawson was going to LSU. There were some talks about maybe the wavering of a commitment from Arkansas uh, towards Kayla Blanchard. And as it turns out, Lawson's not at LSU, he's at TCU. Blanchard not at Arkansas, he's at South Alabama. And let's wrap this up a little bit. What exactly transpired in the two months after that, or a month and a half after that? Well, I'll tell you what, recruiting is a delicate you know, issue out there today. and. Uh, it's a business for those coaches in Arkansas and a new staff decided to go in a different direction uh, informed Caleb there uh, after the Christmas holidays and so forth so he was out looking for another school really think found a fine place in South Alabama an up and coming program Joey Jones played for Bear Bryant Alabama they think they got a great thing going they play there in the senior bowl and look for some great things at South Alabama yeah, the thing about Caleb uh, is this uh, coach uh, if he could perform on the next level the way he did his sophomore year, you're looking at a truly special kid, someone who very readily is playing on Sundays. And yet, uh, if he has the injury-marred seasons that he had his last couple of years at Denham Spring, it's going to be tough for him to contribute at South Alabama or, or anywhere. Uh, elaborate on that, if you will. Well, you know, again, that's life. You know, it's always perfect. He had some ups and downs the last couple of years coming off that great sophomore season. But... You know, Caleb's got a fine body, a lot of great talent, and you know, step in at running back and, and continue to grow from there and look for some good things from him you know, if he stays healthy and, and continues to grow as a person at the program. All right, let's talk about the big issue that still resonates throughout Louisiana high school football, select versus non-select, the regular season, maintaining the status quo, but the playoffs will be a different story starting this year. Coach, your overall thoughts, your overall reaction. Well, you know, obviously the reaction is uh, there was something coming down the line that the, the smaller schools have dealt with some of the, you know, schools that they call select maybe having an advantage over certain things. 5A schools don't deal with it as much, but the split is what it is now today. The system that is in place for the playoffs is not good for everyone. It's not, uh, it, it's something that's going to have to be worked through. Hopefully, I heard a few coaches say this, we all need to get to playing football and getting into the season and let it all unfold because it's been a lot of information, just a lot of things kind of turned around and nobody really knows what's going on. Any opinion, if you were to make the decision, uh, what would it have been? Would you have kept the entire process throughout the postseason? Would you have done it the way you did right now? Would there be some other way to do it? Uh, you know, I don't know if there's a real good answer to that. You know, public schools obviously draw from their attendance zones. Some of the select schools have the ability to have kids move into the areas. I don't think the recruiting is strictly a select issue. That's something that they get blamed for. I think there's recruiting and sh kids shuffling around in public and private. So that's not the issue. You know, but it is the select schools can draw from a large area, and they're smaller schools really, and they, they play against some of those other ones that can't do it, and, and that really becomes an issue at times. You did a lot of recruiting in the offseason. You were uh, recruiting a replacement for me. Uh, thankfully, you uh, were unsuccessful uh, in that quest. Coach, let's shift gears a little bit. The schedule for Denham Springs, uh, a new name in Salmon coming on the schedule, uh, and a new name in University, which is chock full of, uh, it's a of university. star players. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the schedule is challenging. You know, obviously, you know, we've had success now over the past few years uh, with a couple of co-district championships, being in the playoffs five years in 5A, and 
And our brand of football is physical, and some teams maybe don't like to play it if you're a smaller school. So when we're scheduling, it's difficult for us to find teams in the area to play in our non-district games. Uh, you know, we have Woodlawn, Salmon from the Slidell area coming in week two. We'll return the, the favor next year. She kept it Catholic High, who's going to have one of their better teams this year. Uh, week three as a non-district game. And then we had a bye in our schedule, and we ended up with University High week eight. You know, anytime week eight, nine, and ten's on your schedule, it's always a difficult task to find an opponent. You know, we settled with a local team, University Lab, who Chad Mahaffey and them have a great program. And at the present time, probably – few of the top players in the state of Louisiana competing for them right now. Yeah, I mean, to start the hype machine on the Drew Nettles show, you have Garrett Brumfield, a lineman going to LSU, Nick Brissett, one of the top running backs, and perhaps in the country, certainly in the state, and then a ninth grader who is already making uh, I mean, some tremendous waves in, uh, is it Dylan Moses, I believe his Dylan name is? Moses, the running back? and they have a Jackson, that's a commitment to Florida at wide receiver as a sophomore. Okay. Uh, so they... Uh, they do have some fine players and a good program. You know, it's one of those runs that they have right now. And be a good challenge. They'll play at Dillon Springs Week 8 and something people can come out and see. Uh, but as the p playoffs go, power ratings are important. It's going to be a game that's a uh, solid game for our schedule, and we'll go out there and compete and, you know, move from there. All right. What's the top question mark or top two questions you have as you start things out in fall drills, if you will? Well, this year, you know, you know is Dillon Springs a program? You mentioned that a while ago. You know, we've been there, we played. We graduated a lot of players, we still have a large number of guys in the program, but to be a program, you've got to be able to replace some guys, step in for the first time and do their job and, and be competitive. Uh, so we got a lot of guys going to play. I think people will be surprised at some that step out there on the field. The quarterback position, I've been asked week in and week out who that's going to be. Matt Irwin had a baseball injury we thought may or may not be out, but he's He's been cleared at that practice, so right now he's the leading candidate to be the quarterback. Started three games last year. Very intelligent guy, knows what's going on. I think he'll surprise a few. Therese Kinchin is a very young, talented guy. He's a 10th grader that can throw the ball. Good basketball player, as like Tasman Mitchell. You know, he's a very athletic kid, so he'll, he'll do some things. And Tyler O'Donohue, big, tall kid as a junior. So three underclassmen all returning this year and next. We're going to give us some good depth and some de development there at quarterback. Coach, were you pleasantly surprised when you came back for the Drew Nettle show that Cox 4 was still here? Did you speculate that without the Drew Nettle show being on the station that they might be going defunct? Was that a concern of yours? Not really. I heard they said once you got off the air, John, things went up for a little while, and uh, <laughs> they were glad to have us back, and we'll work from there. I tell you what, they're terrific people at Cox 4, and it's a privilege to be back on the air for the second year of the Drew Nettle show. Yes, you know, looking forward to it. Glad to represent Dillon Springs High School, show the great things of the football program, our Hall of Fame, people who represented the school, and the academic segments and the people we'll have on to represent the community of Dillon Springs is an honor of mine to be able to you know, bring this to the public. All right, Coach, uh, we look forward to a good season uh, for the Jackets and a good season for the Drew Nettle Show. And let me even be the first one to say on this program, Drew, 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 Drew. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, John.